In the second part of the demo, we will show some advanced tasks, namely resource administration, resource selection, and job monitoring. We will use the command line interface here to show that it is quite similar to the ordinary Linux command line interface. Now, our user has already successfully submitted his job, but now he would like another more demanding job that will also run for a longer time. You can see that this job will really be more demanding and because this is a demanding job, he will ask to, for a hundred for five hundred and forty megabytes of memory. In contrast to the previous submission, he will now use the command line interface. Now, most commands are available in the usual prompt, for example, bash, but some aren't yet, so we will use the X console, which contains all the commands. Let's see all the resources available. These are actually the nodes, not all of them are currently useful as resources. And let's check which resources are suitable for running this now very demanding job. None, because none of them have enough memory. But the user has this, his own node, that has enough memory, so he will simply add this to the VO. In this case, of course, he takes on the role of node administrator. So he must be logged in as root. And he first installs all the certificates required for this node to interface with the grid services needed to run it as a resource. The public keys are printed, and now the node administrator should check with the grid administrator whether these are the true certificates. He trusts them in this case and accept them. And now he must rehash them so that the various services will be able to find them. Now he first applies for this resource to be managed by the RCA service, which manages the resources of the grid. And before he can do anything else, the grid administrator must approve this addition. So the grid administrator lists the pending resources. OK, he sees that this resource is pending confirmation. He asks the node administrator through a secure channel whether this is the one. It is in this case, and thus confirms it. And the newly added node confer appears under the registered resources. You can see that there, is some, there are some resource properties, and some of them are not correct, but they are actually not used from here, but rather dynamically uh, from the monitoring tools running on the resource. So for example, if the resource is currently running an application that takes a lot of RAM, the free RAM will be lower and the resource will not be selected if the, the jobs requires a lot of free memory. Now the resource administrator has asked for the certificate that will prove the authenticity of this node. 
this is this the certificate that and he will now add the resource to the VO. He first lists all the existing VOs so that he will be able to copy paste. And he adds this one. He could check in the VO management interface that you saw in the first part to check which ID is the correct one. Okay, the resource is added to the VO, but the certificate that proves this addition must be copied or moved from the incoming directory to the currently used directory. And now our user can again check which resources this grid can, this job can run on. And now the only one fitting the requirements is the newly added node. So we will submit this job and we get the job ID. With job ID, we can run the process the process status tool and we see that the job has failed. The job has failed because we forgot to enable the account mapping for this node and this VO. The resource was selected correctly because the resource is registered in the VO, but when the node was actually to be run, the the global user account was not successfully mapped to local, to the dynamically created local account. So we have to ensure this as well. Namely, we have to add the account mapping and group mapping policies for this VO. We do this by two similar commands. For account mapping, and group mapping. Then submit the job again. Let's see if it's running now. Yes, the job is running. Now on the output, there should already be some status. That's right, it's running under this account name. So locally on the resource, we can see which processes are running for this job. There are two processes, bash and sleep, under this account, so everything appears just dandy. Has the job finished yet? That's right, the job is done. And its output is complete.